Hello, welcome to a Sunday edition of Mornings with Stanley. And this is, I'm recording this a week early because I'm going to Subiaco, Arkansas. So when you're, when you view this, I will be leaving Subiaco, Arkansas to return to Texas. Um, going there for a few days. Or I should talk past tense. I just had an extraordinary week in Subiaco, Arkansas, um, having a spiritual retreat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, today is actually Pentecost Sunday, my, one of my favorite Sundays of the year. But I guess it's a week later now, so Stanley's here, even though Stanley will not be with me next week. Lucy is in the other room. And I really don't have anything to say because I don't know what's going to happen in the next week. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm going to, it's going to be a week since I've eaten my last Mexican food. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe they'll have Mexican food at the monastery. But the day I leave, I'll be heading to Hallsville, Texas, to where my brother lives. And stay with them overnight. Finally give them their Christmas presents. And what else? And then tomorrow, the next day will be Memorial Day. So I'll be heading back to Cleburne on that day. And then maybe going by the National Cemetery where my parents are buried since it's Memorial Day. It might be really crowded. I went there last year on Memorial Day. Just drove up to Dallas and then came back. Um, wasn't very crowded. Of course, in the middle of COVID. I don't know what kind of festivities I'll be having then. I'm sure by the time I get there, most of the festivities will be over with. There might still be a lot of people there, but um, probably won't all ceremonies and everything, I'm sure, will be earlier in the day. But then I'll come back home and see how much weight I gained. <laughs> we shall see. And then the next day I'll pick up my dogs. They don't know yet that I'm leaving. Lucy used to always get stressed out when I'd get my suitcase out, but I haven't traveled as much as I used to. So I guess last year or so with COVID, and um, you know, I, when I went for the previous three years, it'd be for three weeks at a time, you know, going to Luther Seminary. So that was most of my time away. So they didn't really see all that. And so often I would have to take them a day or two before to be boarded, uh, you know, if Saturday, if I was taken to the vet or um, even the day before I would leave if I was leaving them somewhere else. And so I wouldn't always pack until I had them at the, where they were being boarded. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit them all in the, everything in the back of the car. I might be able to do it. I might be able to get everything in the back of my car except for the dogs. Usually I put Stanley in the back seat and Lucy in the, in the, in the back. And, um, not in the trunk. It's a, it's a station wagon. Just cause it's easier to get her in, in and out cause she can't jump anymore. But I might be able to get her in the regular back seat and just do that. And then I can maybe take all my, my luggage with me. When you're gone for a week, you have to take a lot. And I think I might take my guitar and I got some exercise equipment. I don't know. More than you want to know. Too much information. You might come and rob my house since I'll be gone. Okay, Stanley, I'm going to put you out and I'm going to read this so I can get changed. The... Monday edition will probably be late unless I decide to go on and do it and do it from Hallsville or do it at Subiaco and schedule it to come on later. But um, Stanley will not be with me. And, or I might just do it today. I don't know if I get, um, get motivated. We are now in week four, Sunday of week four. Salvation through Christ or in Christ? 
We are considering the verse, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Through, Je through Jesus, a door, we get into him. He is a door to himself. That raises the question, is salvation through Jesus or in Jesus? The usual answer is through Jesus. If the through doesn't lead to the in, however, it stops this side of salvation, for salvation is in Jesus. The through opens the possibility of salvation, but the in gives the actuality of salvation. This is the central weakness of organized Christianity. It preaches salvation through Christ, but not salvation in Christ. The churches are filled with people who believe they are saved through Christ. That salvation is looked for in heaven. They will be saved in heaven through Christ. The salvation is in the past through the cross, and it will be realized in the future in heaven. The present is but faintly redeemed, or not at all. Salvation is now is not now in Christ. It is in the past as a potentiality, or in the future as an actuality. But salvation that is not present is not salvation. It is only a hope. If you ask the average church member if he is saved, he'll probably answer, I hope so. He's depending on salvation through Christ and not on salvation in Christ. The cross is a door through which we can enter into Christ. Surrender and faith are the responses through which we do actually enter and become in Christ. Only when we are actually in Christ are we saved. He saves those whom he has. It's an interesting, you know, he always talked about, he wasn't trying to get people into heaven, he's trying to get heaven into people. And I think that that's what he's talking about here. A little bit, maybe more general. It's not just about loving, I mean, that's the evidence. Loving your neighbor is the evidence of it. But being in Christ, being, anyway, let's just see what he has to say through this book. I shouldn't speak for him. Here is our prayer for today. O oh, Jesus, my Lord, if you save only those whom you have, it is of supreme importance that you should have me, the whole me. For if I leave anything outside of you, it is outside of salvation. You have me. Amen. In our affirmation for today, salvation through Christ is outside me. Salvation in Christ is inside me. Jesus is Lord.